Dr. Mark Changizi here with your science moment. This is moment 400. Come a long way from, um, well, from one, obviously, but really uh, from 53 or 52, uh, as you uh, might know or might not know, I had kind of paused at around 52 or so uh, when COVID hit. Uh, I didn't know how to continue the series, which was really just on science, uh, short videos on science related to my own uh, sort of angles on science as everything is. Um, but I didn't know how to continue when COVID happened to continue it in the exact same way would have been to me like some artist uh, during World War II and the Nazis, you know, tromping all over Europe and some artist continued and his or her work was unchanged by those events. And so it took me some months, five or six months before I realized there's so much interesting scientifically going on with the collective madness um, as well as uh, face masks and lockdowns and just tremendous amounts of structure that was uh, just ripe for discussing. So now we're all the way at 400. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, a, sort of a maxim of life that's sort of driven my own series. And it comes from, you know, the maxim that people have heard or the mantra, which is uh, for reporters and journalists, which is reporters report, uh, they don't become the story. Don't become the story when you're a reporter. But the other side to that is that for you and me, who aren't reporters, we're not journalists, tell your story, be the story, don't report, right? So it, it's difficult, but for the most part, my 400 episodes so far have all not been the news. Sometimes they're provoked by current events, certainly, but I've really always tried to come at it from something very peculiar to my own way of thinking about things. It's my story. You know, something that only Mark would say. That's the idea. I want to say things. So, I, for example, there's lots of stuff about the development issue, developmental issues for masks. I didn't talk about them. There's a lot of other people talking about these things. Cardiovascular issues for masks. I didn't talk about them. There's a lot of other people that are saying, giving that message um, that I don't need to do it. Right? I'm trying to focus on the kinds of things that only I would say. And you have things that only you would say. All of us do. Right? It's the rare occurrence when you're a reporter, when your job, and it's a very different kind of philosophy, where you don't want to become the story. That's a different kind of thing. Most of us aren't involved in that kind of thing. We really have our own perspective on the world from where we come from, with our own talents and education and viewpoint in the world where we actually sit within it. And from that viewpoint, we have particular things that matter to other people, and that's what makes your story a good story. Instead, a lot of, I see a lot of people, they may have started that way, but they want to get more clicks. They want to get more impressions. And so they just start covering the news. Each day is covering the news, saying the same thing pretty much that thousands of other people are saying. They're just covering the news and saying the obvious points. You don't want to do that. You might get more impressions locally, but in the long run, you're going to be just like them. And this goes back to remaining aloof, which is what's driven me as a scientist, it's driven me in terms of the series and loofwired.com, which is itself named after um, this notion of be aloof. Right. So I just wanted to emphasize that, and that's what's motivated my story here for science, the science moment, and it's what's motivated loofwired.com. It, in a nutshell, is why I try to convey to you, even more than the specifics, is try to be your own independent thinker, disconnected from the board, so to speak. That was your science moment.